Hello, good morning. It's man. No, it's not. It is Tuesday. Am I allowed to start in 160 hours from Tuesday? Yesterday was a bank holiday Monday, so maybe I'll just do six days. I just went in my calendar, and this week was the week we're meant to be flying to um, Lisbon. So yeah, this is a very relaxed vlog if it even happens. Expect a lot of being at home or being in the sun. It really feels like summer's here. Anyway, today there's not much planned. Oh my god, my glasses. I should definitely be putting my glasses on. I did my spin this morning. Oh, I wanted to mention this. I hit the gold award or the gold achievement on the May activity challenge on Peloton, which means that I did a class over 15 times or more this month and I haven't even finished the month, so I've just done my 16th class. And yeah, it's just really nice. Like I've never managed to consistently exercise in my life, let alone about five times a week, which is what I'm doing at the moment. It just feels really like rewarding. And if you have a healthy relationship with exercise, which I think I do, as healthy as it can be, it's not unhealthy, put it that way. I would really recommend getting an app that gives you some kind of uh, targets and achievement uh, basis from which to work because it's made a huge difference to me and knowing like, okay, if I hit 15, like I get a little gold badge on my account, like how silly, but it really does work for me. Okay, I'm gonna go do some work now. Also today's jewelry, I got these really nice new earrings from Mango and I absolutely love them. And then I'm just wearing my Pandora necklace down here. All the jewels. I've looked at this angle before. Welcome to my bed. Not even my bed, is it? It's Jack's bed. I had a really chill afternoon. Just did a couple of bits and bobs. Posted on Instagram. Really happy with it. Wearing this outfit. Looking cute. Um, also, my friend Hazel's book arrived. Hazel has written a book called Out of Love and I'm buzzing to read it. It's a love story told backwards. I'll leave a link in the description where you can go and take a look as well if that sounds like your kind of thing. And I found my Kindle. I've been looking for my Kindle for the longest time. Um, and it was in Jules's uh, drawer in her desk. <laughs> it just took us forever to find. So I downloaded two books recently. So one of the books is called Daring Greatly by Brené Brown. And I also bought, on the recommendation of my wonderful friend Frances, Quit Like a Woman, which is another drinking book. I read. <laughs> I read quite a few drinking books because I find it very interesting. Like, it's really a strange spot to be in to have a complicated relationship with alcohol and be a woman. When it comes to um, commentary on the subject, there's not that many women talking about it. So I'm excited to give that one a read. Now I'm gonna go hang out with myself for a bit, have some alone time. So, bye-bye. <laughs> First things first is I really, really want to clean up this space. My stuff is the problem here. <laughs> my stuff is just seeping into every part of this room because I've gained so much stuff while I've been here. Like we forget, it's been getting on to three months. Today's been really chill. I just did some blog stuff. I've written like four posts, but I don't think they're appropriate to post right now. They're a lot about travel. So I'm kind of holding off. Oh, I wanted to show you my new skirt. I got a new skirt. I really wanted a skirt like Rachel Green wears in Friends. I also really miss my American Apparel uh, skirt. I can't remember what they called these. They're called tennis skirts now, I think. I've just been really wanting one again. So I found one on H&M, I'll link it below. And it's, thank goodness, not the print of my old school kilt. I see the print everywhere and I, I just find it so gross. I'm like, ew, that's my school print. I also tried to book a thyroid test. I'm convinced my thyroid's getting worse. I am feeling okay, but I've realized without even noticing that I am probably med like self-medicating a lot of those by being gluten-free. So people often go on a gluten-free diet um, and it's been studied and proven that a gluten-free diet really helps women with hypothyroid. So it wouldn't shock me <laughs> if that was helping quite a lot, but I am still brain foggy, lethargic a lot, a lot of my life. Um, I also had the vitamin deficiencies recently. Yeah, it's all kind of stacking up and I obviously, uh, my TSH levels keep dropping, no, keep increasing in fact, uh, usually by like 0.5 every time I go. Anyone who has more severe medical issues than me when it comes to this stuff, I really, really feel for you because uh, from my experience at least, women aren't believed when they go to the doctors and it's a chronic 
problem all across the system. Internationally, I don't think it's unique to the UK um, or the NHS either. So yeah, if you're struggling with any issues, I really feel for you sending all of my love because it's a fucking fight. Okay, I'm gonna tidy this room up now. <laughs> Gave the room a quick tidy. Here's where we're at. Boop, 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 boop. Not the tidiest thing in the world, but what can you do, eh? Also, I completely forgot to mention, but I'm about to go and meet my friend Ellie for a drink. We're meeting in Victoria Park because she has been isolating on her own and she was telling me the other day how she hadn't seen anyone in nine weeks and I was like, let's meet then. <laughs> Oh, what's happened to her hair? So yeah, that's what we plan to do. I will take you on this little journey. This is Ellie. Hi. <laughs> I mentioned you earlier, but basically I was like, we're meeting in the park. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go home and find a toilet because I'm dying for a wee. I'm starting up my PlayStation. I'm about to play some City Skylines, which is my new game that I'm into. But yeah, we had a lovely bolognese for dinner. And it was so nice seeing Ellie. Ellie's such a bloody sweetheart. It was just lovely. So I'm really glad we did that. It felt so good to see a friend. I couldn't believe how filling it was in my life. It felt very weird that we couldn't give each other a hug, but it just felt so much better to chat to someone in person. I couldn't believe how much I'd been missing that. Even though I'm with people all the time. There's something about talking to someone in person that I really just didn't value as much as I do now. Hello. I'll put you down in a place. Not really an angle, but we'll go with it. So today has been good so far. I've just done um, a bunch of like final bits for this Pandora campaign I'm doing. I'm now a Pandora creator, which you probably know. I'm buzzing about it, it's so exciting. And I'm really pleased with the video we've shared, or we will share, which I assume will be out now because it's going out on Saturday. I'm weirdly quite anxious today. I've really had like a knot in my chest. Our current situation is really weighing on me especially with um, the she sings recently uh, and killings in general of uh, black men and women. Uh, just all of that, like the, the mood online is quite low and morale is low. Dominic Cummings stuff is obviously horrendous in my opinion. And all of that combined has just left me feeling very like overwhelmed and quite... Uh, lacking in optimism and normally I'm quite optimistic. Also something that might interest you, I don't know if you're interested in the creator side of things, if you're not, don't know how you subscribe to my channel because I talk about being a creator a lot, um, but I just hit, uh, what, what would you even call it, like bank account zero in my company bank account. I have all my tax savings still and my VAT savings, but I now have no money <laughs> other than that in my business bank account. I have personal savings, thank goodness, because I do save for a rainy day. But yeah, I haven't been paid for anything I've done since February. I also didn't make any money in like uh, April and May, so <laughs> it's a stressful time. Unfortunately, I can't get any financial compensation like some people who are self-employed because I would have to furlough myself, which means that I wouldn't be able to post videos, I wouldn't be able to post on Instagram, and I wouldn't be able to respond to emails, and that's just not realistic. It would like kill off everything as you know. I usually try and stay quite on top of money stuff so it's quite stressful. You've probably heard 101 self-employed people talk about this but honestly companies that don't pay on time there's a special place in hell and that's nearly everyone unfortunately but some are better than others. One time I waited a year and five months for a payment that I had to legally chase from a huge international company as well. So I guess now's a great time to say that if you are interested in buying any of the Moon merch, if you've ever been considering buying a Tote or a t-shirt and you happen to be able to afford to now, it would be greatly appreciated because um, yeah, financially, Things are very, very weird. Any ways that you can support your favourite creators are just going to be deeply appreciated at the moment. Anyway, I'm going to go eat my lunch now. I'm having fish cakes.
Thursday. Is it? It might be Friday. It's Friday because it's New Music Friday. Oh my god. Got myself a cup of green tea here. I'm gonna actually try and shoot an Instagram post in a second, which I want to talk to you about as well. I know there's been a lot of content in the past week or two about uh, Black Lives Matter because of the tragedies of the murders of George Floyd among other people. I think there's been like four now. I wanted to talk a bit about allyship. There's a lot of posts going around at the moment encouraging people to be better allies and trying to help you understand how to be a better ally. It's something I try and bring into my everyday life and I think that's something that's maybe not been talked about too much. A lot of the advice for allyship is very present in this moment and that's really important right now of course but I think it's really important to emphasize that to be a good ally you are an ally 24 7 you are an ally into the future and so I think it's important to remember this is a long-term thing <laughs> it's not just you tweet a bit and then you donate and that's that like I think we need to reframe that discussion slightly into questions like so are you going to read more black authors work for example are you going to make a monthly donation to a cause that supports uh, especially black women which black owned businesses are you going to support which protests are you going to go to in the next year are you going to write to your mp regularly what are the things that you are actually doing in the long term or can start to instigate in the long term also think boycotting if there's a brand where you know the owner is um a bigot or a racist uh, are you doing stuff to boycott that brand and raise awareness? Which family member are you going to commit to educating um, on the matter? In what ways are you planning to educate yourself over the next year? I think I'm going to write an Instagram post about this as well, but allyship is not just in the moments of tragedy and deep fear and concern. It's for year round. I'm very lucky. I went to SOAS. I did a history degree. I studied only Asian and African history and that was basically a deep dive into colonialism and wow my eyes were opened <laughs> my little Tunbridge Wells eyes were really opened to the enormity of the issue when it comes to uh, racism and the need to decolonize our society and one of the most important things you can do is vote please please vote in your elections, in your local elections and in your general elections. Please vote. I think in some places as well you can vote for police commissioners, which might actually be um, something that we should all try and actively get involved with because, as we know, like, unfortunately, police discrimination and police brutality is not just an American issue. So much discrimination in the police. Um, in England as well, I'd recommend you look up Mark Duggan and Mark Duggan's case. I would encourage you greatly to look into those issues. It's not just a one day quick fix or a one, one year quick fix. This is systemic and we're gonna be here a while. So <laughs> let's be the best we can be. Everyone take care. Um, I'm thinking of you. I hope you're all well and yeah. I'll chat to you in a bit. Saturday. I'm really sure I've got something in my eye. Though I try something with my hair today, I always think I wish I was one of those girls that always wore her hair in like different, like, or had like four styles that were like really effortless and cool. And so I followed a tutorial or tried to follow a messy bun tutorial this morning. It did not work. My hair is not <laughs> messy bun territory right now. So I just popped it up in a little thing. May as well look cute. Yes, yeah, so it's just a little daytime look because I am going out to the park now. It's Three, no, it's two o'clock now. So I'm meeting my friends at three in Victoria Park and we're just gonna have a little drink, have a little chat, catch up. I haven't seen them probably since February. <laughs> so it'll be really nice to see them. Hannah is completely covered because she really burnt herself a canvas <laughs> yesterday. Look at this. It was worth it. 
hello this whole place is a complete mess but i'm gonna tidy it up it's happening this is just water but it was a really nice cup of tea yesterday was lovely I had such a nice time in the park with the girls jack joined after a while as well so we all just sat and had a drink and then we wandered home and there was a lovely barbecue i have escaped a hangover today which i'm very grateful for because i was drinking prosecco i think i'm gonna do one of the face masks i brought with me this is the aloe calm sheet mask this is my favorite favorite mask and it's like pound fifty or something. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna pop that on my face, I think, in a minute. Today's just chill. I'm in my classic two-piece. No bra, hanging free. I'm gonna read more of the book I've been reading, uh, which is why I'm no longer talking to white people about race. It's fascinating. Couldn't recommend it more. I don't know how this room just falls apart. Like, three days after it's been tidied, it's just an absolute wreck again. All right, see you in a bit. <laughs> Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you. 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 Happy birthday to you.